Hello. Especially with women like you. Hey girl, what's up? So in today's video, we are doing makeup over 40 for dark skin. I have made so much content for dark skin women. As a makeup artist and licensed esthetician, my specialty is dark skin. I am dark skin. A lot of the comments are saying, hey, you know what? I feel like I found someone who's my same complexion. What is your shade? So I just washed my face. That's why it's looking dry. So before I handle that, I am my brows on I'm gonna put on my dermatology eye patches because girl when I tell you that these actually depuff I love to use these before makeup I love to use these like if I want to do a no makeup makeup look these do such an amazing job I see an immediate difference I'm using my Anastasia brow whiz and I'm just gonna start by brushing up the little hair that I do have and then I'm going to look far away and kind of just do short bursts of hair strokes like this and I'm going to follow the natural bone structure. I'm going to allow the pencil to guide me. Now I'm taking the brush and I'm just feathering out the front. And then I'm going to go in with my matte yellow finish and I'm going to use this to carve out the top of my brow just to give it just a little bit of a shade this one is in shade nw50 and then i'm going to use nc30 on the bottom and what i'm doing here is just making sure that the brows look as natural as possible when we get that crisp tail we don't want it to stop at a really unnatural place we use concealer to carve out our brows all the time and we think oh we've got that nice pointy end yeah but it stopped right here and that that's not natural so we use this flesh tone concealer to kind of like chop off that extra end like line it up with your the corner of your eye and like the brow shouldn't be too close to this And now I'm gonna take my Sephora number 45 concealer brush and I'm gonna use this just to clean up the bottom and add like a base to my lids a little bit starting at the bottom such light pressure it's creating a small highlight right underneath the brow I'm just gonna blend out the top shape first And then we're going to go on to the bottom shade. Again, it's stretched because I'm doing this. And then I'm just going to press the concealer in with my hand for the rest of the blending. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and finally apply my skincare, girl. Starting with my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner. So this is my all-natural vegan and organic skincare line. Formulated especially for melanin-rich skin. Gentle, it's all natural, safe to use every day, and very effective for oily skin, aging skin, problematic skin. Okay, so now that that has had time to set in, I'm about to prime my skin, and I am going to use three primers. That is right, three primers, girl. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Eye Base to prime underneath my eye, the Bobbi Brown Face Base to prime the rest of my face, and the Milk. These primers are actually skincare hybrids so the eye base primer is going to be helping to lighten dark circles over time and the face base primer is a moisturizer and primer in one so I just toned my skin with the Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner now I'm going to moisturize the skin and like do skincare more skincare stuff before I start going into makeup stuff but this is kind of makeup up too. Will you look at that? Okay, so I'm going to concentrate this one on my problem areas where I know I need a little bit more gripping. So while I allow this primer to sit on my skin for just a minute, I'm going to talk to you about my nails. Because girl, get into leave. <laughs> 
Baby, do you see these? This looks like a gel manicure, does it not? Let me talk to you real quick about the nail it. They are so good, girl. They are a luxury false press-on nail brand. They are famous. I have this pair on. This is mahogany. It comes in such luxurious packaging with a file and nail stickers if you don't want to use glue but of course you 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 get glue as well and what i really would love to talk to you about is the quality of the nail because i'm a press on girly and i know you know old school press ons people would think about it, it popping off and you you losing a nail well actually in today you don't really have to worry about losing a nail and it popping off like nails get old okay and all of them break off and pop off if you got on a false nail it's not gonna last forever but with today's glues you have more of a chance of the nail actually breaking in half and it still be connected at the base because the glue is so strong you have a like greater chance of the nail actually breaking than you have it of it popping off like I've already told you about some of the best glues around okay that my nails be on so long they grow up so we don't really have to worry about nail glues in today's age the nailist has a nail glue as well like i said you have to worry about nails like breaking before you have to worry about them actually popping off and i'm telling you these nails are good they not gonna break they not gonna pop off these nails are absolutely premium they are high quality they are luxury they are handmade and they're very unique a lot of the designs are like one of a kind design this brand is absolutely amazing so girl i had to show you these because they are just that good so if you are into press on nails like i am check these out oh also i wanted to show you these bolden eye patches as well because this is a black owned brand and what i love about these right is that they are so travel friendly now i just raved about these okay these sit on the vanity these i love they are very dear to my heart instant results love them they work but this is not travel friendly right and when you get these you, it gets like messy and it's the stuff and all of that stuff like that right? i like it how cute okay so if you are a person that travels a lot i recommend these they are awake under eye patches and sometimes especially like when you're on a flight if it's a long flight or like i said you've been traveling a lot and when you hit the ground you you're off to the next place once again i would recommend these to you know be rocking while you're on the plane sleep so that when you get off the plane your eyes look awake and a little bit more refreshed as you can see they're in the individual packs and they're not juicy right like these these are the type of eye patches that stick straight to the skin. They don't slip and slide. They come like this. Like this is the kind of eye patch you can kind of like pull on and off. No juice dripping. No fuss. All of this goes in the garbage. Like you could pop these on while you are in your seat. Get you some rest girl. Wake up feeling refreshed because you've had a nap and looking refreshed because these have been sitting on your eye and then when you remove them they'll give you like a brightening effect so also give these girls a whirl and honestly these feel so good like i feel like there's a, a, also like a tightening effect like a pulling of the skin they really feel so good i don't even want to take these off like yeah let's be getting the brushes and stuff together while we got these on girl okay let's take these off okay so for today's look i do want something that's a little bit more full coverage i do want i love like my sheer foundations but i also love a foundation that when i put it on it cancels everything out and i look really made up so i am going to reach for my huda my huda beauty huda 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 beauty this is in shade kakoa and then i'm going to sheer it out a little bit because it is a little thick 
with the NARS Macau. I am looking for a foundation that I can just like put on and it gives me the shellac, the right amount of shellac. Start with just a little bit of this around my mouth area and then I'm gonna shear it out and apply the foundation, the rest of the foundation to the rest of the face. I'm just gonna stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, stamp it in the trouble zone. Especially you see the wash just kind of prickly. And then I'm just gonna shear it out a little bit with the NARS. And I'm just constantly working the product in and around and shearing it down and spreading it, blending it, making sure it's even. This is such a pretty combination. I do like my Chanel for just like this effect right here that I have. Like you can really, really, really pile this foundation on and it's beautiful. Okay, this is looking really, really good. So now let's take our Too Faced Concealer in shade Butterscotch. So now that it has dried down just a little bit, I'm going to start blending out the face portion of the concealer and I'm gonna leave the under eyes for last. This is just a dry Sonia Kasha sponge. I think that this is Sonia Kasha, I think. Um, but it's a dry sponge and I'm just gonna start by pressing in the concealer. And I like to use a sponge, especially with these thicker, heavier products, because a sponge is really going to pick up any extra product and like press it in and pull it out at the same time. And it just gives a very seamless and more natural appeal to the makeup. And I'm gonna do the same thing for underneath my eye. I have like some wet sponges here as well. Damp, should I say they're damp by now, not wet at all. Nothing like no drippage comes out when I squeeze it and this is how you want it You just want them like bouncy like that. I typically like to have them also warm as well That really really helps but when you sit and doing your makeup thing on cool down But if you can have a warm one, that's what's up these cheaper more firmer sponges I really like there's absolutely no dupe for the beauty blender But there are still some good sponges out here that are not the beauty blender and just as effective and great to use as well. And I like like the more cheaper, the more like firmer sponges for what I just used it as like to kind of press the product in without picking it up too much. Like the beauty blender is going to give you the most seamless more most natural most beautiful complexion ever and these other sponges like they really work to like I said kind of like stamp the product in and not shear it out as much as the beauty blender like the beauty blender it is magical. Now I'm gonna take my Dior backstage concealer I don't even know what shade this is. This is shade 2W and I'm gonna tap a bit on the tip of my nose and on the very inner corners of my eye. And again, just letting it sit. And while that sit, we gonna prime the eyelids for shadow. Starting with the nose, I'm gonna take this concealer brush and just start tapping the concealer in. Ooh, that is more than I wanted, but it's okay. Okay, so you see how like the inner corner of the eye, and I tried to do just the tip of the nose, I put a little bit too much concealer, so it went up kind of far, but that's okay. We still have to contour it and everything, so it's going to be a little bit more muted than what it is now anyway, but yeah, so you see how like the inner corner of the eye is the brightest, and that's how you look 
more awake, more fresh, more youthful, no matter the age, no matter the complexion, do this step. Now I normally will go in with some Fix Plus to kind of like meld all of this together, but it's already looking so very beautiful. So what I want to do is hurry up and set it. I'm going to use my Chanel Libre Universal Powder. This is in shade 30. I'm going to use one of those little black triangle puffs. I'm going to stretch the skin and pat, 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 press, press, press. Okay, let's do the rest of the face. We're going to bronze it up and finish the contour. So I like when we set, we're going to add the bake with a sponge so that it can sit right on top of the skin. So this is going to sit on here just nice and neat while I bronze up my face. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to place that just like I did the bake, but this is for the inner corner. Next, I'm going to use my brow bone highlight. I'm just going to take this cream from the Julius Place Coffee Shop palette. I'm also going to take this shade right here and we're going to use that also on the inner corner for like our first transition shade. Drag a little bit underneath the eye. Then I'm going to take this color right here and put some on my mobile lid. And I'm just patting and pulling. I'll take a fluffy brush and just kind of whisper a little bit of that in the crease as well. Packing this color on, I want it to be nice and vibrant. And I'm looking down so that I can get right above the hood, like perfectly. Now I'm gonna go back in. Ooh, should I switch? I'm gonna go back in with that transition color a little bit. And we're gonna just try to intensify that some before switching. So now I'm just going to like buff this and just keep buffing this. And we may do a matte look today. Like I doubt it because you know me, I love my glitter, but we got some other glitter looks coming up. So this look may be matte, who knows? So now I'm going to take this chocolate right here and I'm just going to drag that on the upper lash line and pull it upward, flick it upward just a little bit. So we're gonna go into this one and then we might go into that one at the very last end. We're transitioning shades. Going a little bit deeper each time. And then take a little bit of this one and put that right very outer corner for that hood, that little droopy portion of the eye. Uh, camouflage that with this deep one here. And we just flicking it just over that part on the eye. Girl, this look going hard. Now I'm just gonna blend out the edges just a little bit. Nothing harsh because we still got a long way to go. Like, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's add a little bit of skin finish and blush. I'm just kind of going to start dusting off the bake and kind of like softening the edges as we are done with the eye look. I have been absolutely loving the high blush as of late. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna go in my red and just start buffing.
Now I'm going to open up my eyes a little bit more with this beige eyeliner by Edson. And I'm just going to wiggle this back and forth like in the center. I'm not going to go too far in the inner corner and I'm not going to go too far to the outer corner. Now I'm going to just whisk away the rest of the bake with a fluffy clean brush. So now I pulled out the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette and I'm just using this shade right here as a little bit more inner corner highlight. Just taking this brush that I worked on the outer V with, no extra product, and just smudged a little bit in my lower lash line. And another trick that I love to do as far as looking more youthful and just glowy and refreshed, I like to leave the lower lash line either like bare like this or I'll use something really light something like a light color, like a copper. Now I normally would put black eyeliner at the top, right? Because that really pops the eye. But for today, we're gonna use this brown. It's a very deep espresso brown, almost black, but not quite by Kat Von D. Alright, so the look is fairly complete. I'm going to go in with my setting spray before I pop on my lash and lip. For my lip, I'm going to go in with the Dior Lip Glow and Mahogany. Every day I'm wearing this. This is the prettiest mood. Oh my God. Never forget this combo ever in life. Oh my God. Amazing. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and put on my mirror makeup blessed lash. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tight line a little bit. I'm gonna use my City Beauty Mascara because this one really lengthens. And that's all I need for the falsies to blend. I'm just going to do a whisper on the bottom because I'm going to really keep the bottom nice and clean. Hello? I'm about to go take some selfies and stuff because, baby, hunty, can't nobody tell me nothing. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to join my free VIP beauty community all about beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion. It's me, Kiki Carr, that is going to be in your DMs. That is right. Hooking you up with all of the beauty advice. You will receive content just like this straight to your inbox for free. Can't beat free. Click like, click share, click subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. I've been losing friends and finding peace.